created it to like when it's gone live, but I haven't changed the name of that product. So I don't know. We will look into it later. Ooh, we are live. Oh. And just sat How here, lovely. Sat here chatting. Good morning. <laughs> I know. Having a good old chin wag because, you know, uh, that's what we do. Good morning. Uh, happy Monday to you. Happy Monday? Well, why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Absolutely. Um, I hope that you are having a fabulous day so far. It's really blooming miserable here, actually, isn't it? It's mm. a very grey day. It but up in the day. studio, mm, mm, mm. no, it is not. It is full of Baltimore goodness. It is the Oriental Baltimore. Da, da, da. And of course, the one block that we are doing today is the one block that is blocked by the sewing machine. Excellent. Just you wait in the new studio, it will not <laughs> be like this at all um so i'm gonna swoosh and sachet over Ooh, here i was gonna say hoik it a swoosh and a sachet is much better than a hoik i mean uh, the effect is the same yeah Gemma's in the corner by the way hi everyone nobody puts Gemma in oh no we did put Gemma in the corner <laughs> <Do> uh, <laughs> We have mic'd we have. today. <laughs> but because Margaret always insists that she would like Gemma mic'd, we've tried to remind her to uh, keep it clean and yes. uh, stick her in the corner i'm a good That's girl what we do really. here. she's happy well, I'm assuming you. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah, we're all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I've got to behave myself next week, haven't I? Oh, well, yeah. So many, many shows. So. Do you know, I hadn't realised next week I go on holiday. I know, right? I was surprised too. I hadn't realised. I thought I had like at least two weeks until I went. I know. And it's not. No. So Gemma and SJ and Jane are taking over. <laughs> It's all good. Um, it's all good. I'm go. I, I don't think I get much signal where I'm going. Signal. 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 So I'm not going to worry about it too much. <laughs> but a Sean Connery signal. <laughs> Sean Connery <laughs> signal. I can't do accents. I normally end up Welsh. <laughs> Apart from that one, Shay Shani. Uh, anyway, we're doing this block <laughs> over here. Uh, Shay Shani, what are you doing? We're doing this one, which is the ginger block. It's just called the ginger block because it's. Ginger block plant and yeah. it's a block. Yeah. Yeah. I know. We did keep asking you. Are you Everyone sure kept asking me what's that? it called? I'm like, it's, it's the ginger block. No, 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 but what's its actual name? <laughs> the ginger block. We like to keep you on your toes. Um, because ginger is a plant. You know, that's where we got to with that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Lisa's just sent us a photo of said ginger. Ah. Hang on. Let me show you that from a. Uh... This is what you. <laughs> what Lisa's just sent us. Oh, hang on. There we ah. go. Nice, right? Yeah, there we go. Should be happy with that. Um, yes, 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 yes. So that's what we've got. That is what we've got for you today. Uh, that's what the ginger flower looks like. We've got all the buds just before it goes ping. That's a technical, by, uh, you know, technical, technical term. term. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Good. It's not, not even remotely, not even remotely. Um, shall I find us on here? That might be a really nice thing to That's do. That's a great it? idea. Great idea. Uh, here we go. And then we can say hello to everybody. Hooray, hooray, hooray. We have got Judith and Ali. Ali, I really owe you an apology. I'm so sorry. I haven't been keeping up with social media because things have been a bit mad here with the move and everything. And I didn't realise that you lost her. I'm so, so sorry. Um, and also, Julia, it's been an awful week for dogs. Mm. And Julia as well. I'm so, I just, I'm heartbroken for you. You know, I'm so sorry. So, um, yeah, I'm really sorry. Hugs and Big all that. Big love. We, yeah, love from us because we're all dog lovers here. We oh, all know, we all know that. We all know that pain. Good morning to Joe. Um, we wish we had another week to prepare, says SJ. Oh, but SJ, do you realise, and Emily's just clottened onto this, Sunday is actually Emily's birthday. <laughs> like, not all, of the, not all of the pretend birthdays, it is her actual birthday. She is demanding Hooray. a flower cake. Excellent. She doesn't want everybody to come to her party. I haven't told her she's not having a party. Uh, <laughs> It's just as well because she doesn't want everyone there. Um, uh, Elizabeth says, have a proper time out, Natasha. Do you know what, Elizabeth? I'm taking a couple of horses, a couple of kids, and I'm going to Devon. Perfect. Perfect. And we're going to ride on the beach, and it's going to be beautiful. Sounds I amazing. I cannot wait. Um, Alison says, good morning, Natasha and everyone. 
dry but cloudy in Howwood today. Yeah, love the ginger block. Um, and the digital version of the ginger block is also live now too. Just a note on that: if you are printing this off and you've got it digitally because you're so excited and you can't be get, uh, you can't be, you, you can't get wait to get started. The words they're just like. Um, then uh, just make sure you print it off actual size. Yeah. Actual size. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, Heather. Just finished making Joe Carter's long-eared rabbit. Oh, fabulous. For a new great-granddaughter. Wow. Great-granddaughter. I know. Heather, great that's fabulous. Great-granddaughter. Morning, Claire. Uh, it's supposed to be tidying. Can't be bothered. Claire's neighbour has been really mean and said she put a horrible note over a garden wall to say that her garden looked like a bomb site. Oh! You just go. That's extremely rude. It's my my garden. Yeah. I have it however I want. Two boys being rambunctious. <laughs> they can make it <laughs> however they please. Quite frankly, love. Especially with the rolled R. Rambunctious. rambunctious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How rude! It's nobody else's business. Quite. Gosh. If anybody had a look at my garden, they'd have a shock. <laughs> Morning, Sean. Morning, Alison. Morning, Hilary. Morning, Sharon. Morning, Grandy. Grandy McPhail. Fabulous name. That is a fabulous it's name. A good name. Um, Lisa has just said, oh, what have you got? Sat down with a prawn and avocado salad. Lisa's not doing sugar. Oh. Mm, I know. Oh. We had that conversation this morning because oh. I'm also cutting back on the old sugar. And uh, she's like, I, I can't function. I'm like, yes, you can. You're, you're going to be all right. Gonna be all right. Morning, Judith. Morning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Emily has managed a year-long birthday, Elizabeth. You are quite right. Morning, Carol. I have a um, feeling that's not going to change either. <laughs> I can't imagine yeah. that having an actual birthday is going to stop her. We did still ask thinking her is. how old she thought she was going to be, and she said seven. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Um, nice. And then I said, but that means that you've skipped out three, four, five, six. So she said, well, I'm going to be three, four, five, six, mummy. I'm like, mm, mm, well, there's mm. a lot of presents you've missed out on there. Well, that's true. <laughs> Myra's now hungry. Oh, you see, it's only eight minutes into the show and we've already started making people hungry. And everyone wants prawn and avocado salads. I know. But you see, Lisa does food mm. very well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> Myra says, wow, that's rude. <laughs> yeah, you could. You could tell them that you were helping wildlife. That's what I tell people. I did no mo May. June. You did do no mo May and part July. June. <laughs> August. Until July. until uh, our cleaner came in and said, "What's happened to your gardener? Thinking he was injured or sick or something?" And you were like, "Why? why? <laughs> he's, he's fine." And she, she said, "No, John's oh, fine. What? Nothing wrong with John." But the garden looks a bit. I was like, "Oh yeah." yeah the, okay. the mowing hasn't been done. You went, "No, no, that's me that does that." <laughs> that's true. Are you been known her so long though? She just went, "Oh." <laughs> wasn't even to be bothered. Fair, I've known Penny since I was 19 years She wasn't old. worried about offending you no, at all. Not one little bit. Nobody cares about offending no. me. It's fine. You've got to go a long no. way to offend me. Let's not like, let's not try that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I try regularly to offend you. I mean, you. Yeah, 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 to be fair. <laughs> Morning, Lorraine. I'm having coffee before my <clears> middle son, Alex, wakes up. He's 21 years old today. Aww. I love that. Wakes up. It's gone 10 o'clock. <laughs> Actually, yeah, why am I Ari? It's gone 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> the, the youth of today, these millennials. I don't know. Morning, Becky. Anyway, happy birthday, Alex Middleson. Um, <laughs> morning to Becky. Went to Frampton Country Fair. Met some beautiful and handsome otter hounds and Aww. thought of me. I love the fact... No, I need to be careful what I say. <laughs> I love the fact that a soggy lady bearded dog reminded you of me, but it's actually Maud. Maud has got a... yeah. She's um she's managed to mingle mud and mm. soggy lady beard all in one beautiful yeah yeah stunning yeah. no oh Geraldine's able to watch the whole show today fabulous morning Oriel um and oh yeah Ryan's asking how many days left until its birthday until its birthday his birthday. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Um, <laughs> She's got two months of that. Oh, two no. months. <laughs> I've had two a whole year. To go. I feel your pain. Oh, Someone bless. said to me the other day, um, "How's your morning going?" I'm like, "Well, I've had to disillusion my daughter of the fact that it's not her birthday, it's not Christmas, and there still aren't any chocolates <laughs> in the advent calendar." <laughs> <laughs> Off to a positive start. Um, do you want to see what we're doing today? You might want to because it's. Oh no, we've well we've seen. It's the one that's. Do you know what? Let's just do that for a minute, and there you can see it there, um, and that is all good. Um, oh, Margaret's on holiday in it this year. Missing the show, but I can catch up next week. Margaret, we might we might Gemma for you. Oh, exactly. Especially, and then you don't listen <laughs> or watch or anything. It's fine. Only joking, it's absolutely fine. Right, let's have a little look then, shall we, at what we're doing today. Oh, we'll very much and look forward to having Margaret back next week, though. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, 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 because, because it'll be you guys. Yeah, I do hope everyone will, uh, will but still watch. support us. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> and keep us in, in check, really. Oh, well. I was going to say keep us in holidays. Make sure. <laughs> yes, and keep you in holidays. <laughs> it sounds like I have a lot. I no, mean, exactly, you don't. Not really. This is the point. <laughs> I worked out last year that... Including weekends and everything, I had 13 days oh. off last year. <laughs> no, we do need we do the old need work life be, balance yeah. needs a bit of a rearrange. A isn't nice it? rest for you, for sure. Now um, we've got the block. We're going to look at that for sure, absolutely, in just a moment. But did you know that we also have a few other goodies from Lisa? Ha ha ha! Now love some goodies. Well, we do love some goodies, and this has been causing a little bit of a stir on the book of faces. Just here. Uh, these are the origami pincushion. Now, do you remember the um, origami table runner that Jane mm -hmm. did with? Was it bad? Oh, bad back. Yes, she'd had a few um, painkillers to help, mm -hmm. and she did a cracking job. Mm -hmm. um, so, this is the, the, the exact the same car key techniques. table runner. The car key table runner. <laughs> but you can put your condiments. But you can in. put your condiments in that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone remembers that one, surely. Everybody remembers. You've got one it. behind you. It was my. It was also my birthday present, wasn't yes, it? Yes, you've you got guys, one behind you. That which one, is just that fabulous. I will one. show it in just a minute. Mm. But this is. If that felt like quite a big project, or maybe you just want to try something small, or maybe you've done uh, the condiment car key table runner, and you would quite like to then, you know, make something to to match or just go with or what have you, then we've got these for you. Da -da 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 -da. And. These are a gorgeous gift as they well. Are aren't they are beautiful. What are they? Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. 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 Um, and so, if you've been doing the block of the month, you already know how to do these. We've done that, and Jane's done that. So, if you've been watching the shows regularly, you already know how to do all of those. It might be that you just want to try this technique before, 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 before you, um, before you start the big one. Or you might decide that you want that and then and then you love it and then you're going to go on and do the big one. It's entirely up to you. But we also had a little thought that if you didn't want to make this into a pincushion, but you just fancied having a little something, then you could always put it on our oh, new little hanger. so cute. Aren't these gorgeous? Aren't they gorgeous? Or actually you could stitch it onto there and have it as a hanging pincushion. You could. Well, you could beautiful? have a row of them as you work your way down as well, couldn't you, in different colours? You really it'd be stunning. Could. Yeah, because once you've got the pattern, you know what you're doing. Yeah, you yeah. could do it in all sorts. Yeah, yeah of course you could. Dink, 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 dink. But that is the thought. These are so hard to get hold of. Yes. Really unusual, and I absolutely love them. Or you could just do a little runner or anything, but I just thought they were rather cute. So I got them. Jane will be bouncing off the wall when I know she sees Jane this. Will be bouncing off the um, wall she, she doesn't know we that. have them. Did you sneak it out without her seeing? Yeah, I did. She really wants the the larger one with the sewing machine at the top, and she's got a whole project designed ready for it well, I in her be head. Doing a bit of uh, um, we just need to try and find them, but they are really, really hard to come by. But fabulous, not stunning. Now, just stunning. Do you know what else we've been waiting for for a long time? This. This is what we've been waiting for for a long Hooray! time. The lens cloths are back in stock. They, they arrived are. off to, oh, it wasn't the boat. I got them shipped in by air this time from Australia just to speed up the process. These sold out in minutes last time. They did. They are back. Dun, dun, dun. In fact, they sold out so fast, I didn't even get to snaffle one. No, I know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> 
And it was as I was making a million different um, glasses cases mm -hmm. for my, because I just, I just become comfortable with the fact that I needed to wear glasses because I didn't see anything, um, which is quite upsetting in my life. We also had a rummage around the warehouse and realised that we've got a couple of the tidy up kits as well. You can either have it in that, which would then go beautifully with your... Uh, it does. Or this one, which is the ivory and green gum leaves one, which, you know, it's almost like we are coordinated all over the shop. And you see then that would go with that. Um, and then you we've also got the Melba <laughs> Tidy Up kit. And if you don't know what we're talking about, it's this. And you've got little pockets to put things in as you tidy up. Oh, look, I've got a half-made um, thing in there as well. You see, my, my brain is in Christmas shopping mode already. Um, I don't know whether anyone else's is, but as soon as the kids go back to school, I start gearing up and planning little things I'm going to make, little projects, you know, or, or, and just Probably purchases done. as well. Because if you plan it between now and Christmas, it doesn't hit you in the mm. pocket as hard. Um, and also, you know, there's people that you won't necessarily get to see and things have to be posted and all of that. So You are Mrs. Organised. I, yeah, I am. But you are. I just, I love to get organised for Christmas. And so these things here... They are, they're perfect. We have, um, we have a Christmas cupboard in our house and the kids know they are not allowed in it at all. Well, if they go in it, then when you send those items to Santa, he will not bring them back because he'll know they've been seen. Exactly. So it's exactly counterintuitive so. to have a peep. Um, oh, Lisa's saying good. that they make great Christmas decorations hung on point too. I bet they do. Bear with. I bet they do. Like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Um, well, at least we might have to do those in some Christmassy colours then, I think. Um, um, and the other thing is the designer block... Oh, look at me. Uh, the designer block packs. These are gorgeous. You know what I'm looking around for, don't you? The finished article. Yeah. Which I brought you in know, and now I can't You know I said to you, could you swing yeah. by the House of Where Wares? is it? And, uh, and bring up the sample that oh. Lisa beautiful. Oh, you mean what the thing with your loop? She's sitting on it. She's actually using it. Oh, no. What are you doing, it, well, woman? I'm sitting on it. I shall my back. Floop it. <laughs> I can say it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable, <laughs> apparently. Oh, gosh. Are you really leaving all I of this? I am leaving everything. In my hands next week. Where's the sample? Where's the sample? Oh, I'm really comfy. You know, if things go wrong, <laughs> like I'm driving a seven and a half ton lorry, I can't be back in a couple of hours. No. And you'll it's refuse gonna... to have a holiday ever again, so yeah. I really need it to be yeah. good next week, because we yeah. need you to know that you can have a rest from time to time. Oh, steady. <laughs> um, so this gives you all the fabrics to make that. We've put it with, um, have we given the option? I can't remember. Did we put the option Ivory. to? It comes with, a it comes half, with a meter ivory. Ivory. half a metre of ivory yeah. so that you can make you can actually make that. Mm -hmm. um, Lisa has given you some different designs on the back. You've got the template in there which you can trace off and use. Uh, so you've got lots of different ways to use the Dresden template that's in there. There we go. I'm getting told Lisa's off by Lisa. Gone, Gemma! <laughs> in shouty, shouty capitals. Quite right, Lisa. Quite right. I mean, really, oh. come on. Come on. What's going on? I'm not the only mad woman. Karen, lovely Karen Hughes, is also with me in Christmas present making mode. No, no, I didn't. I never said you were yes. mad. Yes. She's super <laughs> organised too. I'm still astonished at taking two horses and family on holiday and running a business with a move. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> Geraldine's very kind and says that I'm Wonder Woman. Others just say mad. And um, I'm comfortable with either. Really, just don't expect me to wear the pants on the outside of my tights. No. Although, I mean, it probably been done just in confusion at some point. Or well, if anyone could do it, it would be you. I think you could rock that look. Well, the pants are, yeah. I mean, it's, it is a look. Probably not anything anybody wants to see. Right, here we go. Um, this is your block. I was going to say de jour, but it's not de... What's month in French? Moi? Moi. Yeah, yeah. De, de moi. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, block of the month. <laughs> it's been 24 years. English, shall we? 24 <laughs> years since I lasted French. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> this is like, oh, Gemma, come and work with me. Yeah. There'll be no maths. No maths. Or French. <laughs> or French. Uh, I know, I never promised no French. If Emily were here, she'd know. The octopus would have told <clears> her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the octopus. Ask the octopus. Ask he will the know. octopus. He is clearly French. Oh, my word. So everyone's saying, oh, yeah, many, many wonderful things about next week. You girl, go on holiday. 
Oh. We'll just torture Gemma. Lol. That's fine. <laughs> She's comfortable with that. Uh, I'm Gemma. Yes is the answer. Uh, this is... Now, I'm very, very excited about this month's block. Do you know why? For why? Because for these why? have finally arrived. Now, normally, forceps, when you say forceps, as a lady, you wince a bit. Wincing. Yeah. Mm. Um, and the thought of le forcep... I don't know why I'm making everything French today. <laughs> I don't know. You're just in that mood, aren't you? I don't know. I mean, I'm not even going to, holiday, uh, to France on holiday. And yet, it's, everything is... Oh, le, bo le, le bloc du mois. There you go. No, we, we, were yes. not, we were not far off. Just, yeah. yeah. Is that Claire? Codge together. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course it is. Course. It's our resident linguist. Um, Cheers, Claire. Thanks, Claire. <laughs> 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 we know these things. Uh, now, here oh. we go. So, these are the forceps that we've been promising you. Do you want to, should we talk about our forcep journey, Gemma? Because there's been one. Mm -hmm. I got sent these. No, I didn't get sent these. I bought these. And went, well, these are what we need because um, Lisa said what you need are forceps. So they were not really easy to come by. So I bought those at vast personal expense, far more than we're selling ours for. Mm -hmm. FYI. Mm -hmm. um, and then Lisa and, Lisa and I went, well, no, Lisa had a pair of rainbow ones. And I was like, well, hang on a minute how come you've got those how come i don't have these and um and so it happened that we made it happen oh that's malcolm at the door wants to come in he's squeaking he'll but the go in his cats, cupboard won't he he will just go in his cupboard yeah so <laughs> eventually and it has taken a few months to source get the right ones get good quality ones as well uh, slash also very pretty come on, come on malcolm i'll in hide you come. behind the door so you can't he said you me. said it was the ginger block and I am the ginger. There oh, we go. There in is, your cupboard. In. Straight in, bless him. Straight in his cupboard. Um, for those of you who don't know, Malcolm likes to live in a cupboard. It's completely of his own doing. We don't make him sit in the cupboard, do we? No. No, we don't. He jumped into the cupboard. I had a vision of him jumping up onto the desk, but no, he's a good boy. He hasn't been he's today. He's such a good boy. Him and Morty have been bickering and rowing all morning. Worse than children. Now, these ones are slightly curved. These ones are going to be great for toy making. Mm -hmm. So when you need to get up and around those feet. And what you see, what you do with them is, and this is the key, when you get in and you've got it, you then lock it off. Mm -hmm. So it can't come undone. Then you pull it all through. Magic. Magic, magic. Magic, magic. We're going to use those today. And if... If, if you are one of those people, Aaron <coughs> Hughes, uh, who's been saying, I haven't done block one yet, then that's fine because you'll be able to use your forceps to turn through your petals for your clematis, which was our block one. It was. That is how long we've been trying to get hold of these and get them here. So that is a great excuse to finally get going because we've put them in your kit. We feel you need these, so Cut we've put righty. them in such a long time it has been a long time mm. right long time um you also have oh let's have also have a look at this you also have your fat quarter of black your fat quarter of green your fat quarter of red your fat quarter of goldy yellowy orangey yellow, yeah. 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 fabulousness fabulousness and more fabulousness because it feels only right that we start to put in some of Lisa's fabric Laringum. herself now here's the thing we were very very careful when um when I planned out what fabrics were going to go where, because this was all planned out a very long time ago, believe oh, it or was. not, um, to balance where we use, because it's mainly batiks in here, beautiful, but we have put in, just for a bit of sumptuousness, uh, little hints of Lisa's gorgeous fabrics with that gold mm -hmm. in there just to... So um, that's what we've done. And then this week you've got some. And do you know what? You don't use a lot of it. So um, I'm going to do that. Right, now, when you get your pattern, when you print off your pattern, when it, you receive it from us because you can't be bothered to print it off, so we've printed it off for you, and any of those combinations are all okay, by the way. Mm -hmm. No judgment here. You will have this. And you want to get your paper. <laughs> See what I've done there today? Bing. Um, paper, scissors. <laughs> Beautiful. I know. I know. I did wince last week when Jane said, so you want to use your second best pair of scissors and promptly use my best pair of scissors. <laughs> <laughs> didn't say that. 
say anything. It's fine. No. I just, you know, it's fine. What's the best <laughs> pair of scissors amongst friends? I know, right? Um, <laughs> but it, I don't know if we've got any left off the, um, you know, the eight, eight thingy, jobby jobby. The bench trimmer. Yeah. I might have a crafty pair. Have you got a crafty pair yeah. stashed away? I might. Ooh, good. I might. You, oh, you might. Let me say I have. Is that oh, right? Yeah, no, no, no. So here we go. We're going to join these together like so. Why do we do this? Why indeed? Because, because, because. That's what it's going to look like. I tend to then flip it. Oh, it's like Blue Peter, isn't it, eh? <laughs> just like Blue Peter. Someone asked me the other day what I do. I'm like, it's just like Blue Peter for adults. It's basically what I do. So true. Very true, isn't it? Um, so then I'm going to keep that as my centre point there and then fold it this way in half. Why, 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 why? Because we're going to do the same with our fat quarter. And I just reiterate this every single time. Some people might say boring and repetitive. I would like to no, say a gentle content reminder. And also because some people might be starting from the very beginning. Right. And then you could, you'd have to mark it all the way off. Just so long as at these bits here, you know that that is your fold line. Okay. That's what you want. <laughs> this is how we uh, check our mail. So then you will want to turn your iron on. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Oh, no. Not somewhere that I can reach it and yet not burn myself. Bless and you her. will want to get... Karen says, named and shamed. She's got a pile of pizza boxes not yet touched, but she's not on her own. Pile of pizza boxes not yet touched. It's Geraldine's right. taken one for the team and admitted that she's in the same camp. Ah, oh, <laughs> Geraldine. <laughs> That's all right. We we don't mind. I'm going to move all of this over to here so that you can Gemma, actually Gemma, can you ask doing. Natasha, do I need to buy the stranded cotton shade 22 to go with this block, please? Right, let's talk about that. So, within the block... Um, once you've done all of your lee, all of your ginger bits, you can do little French knots in red. Now you have a very deep pinky ready colour already. You've got that. You can you can use that. You want to go in this one, don't you? It's all right, Malcolm. Come here, Malcolm. It's your day because it's the ginger block. No, he's like, I'm not even talking to you today. Fine. Um, so you can use the pinky ready one that you've already got. But if you want a pinky, uh, a ready, ready one, then we do have, we do have this strand of cotton. It is, it is personal choice. If you would like, um, what I can do is put a selection together of all of the threads. If you just want to stock up on them and then you know mix and match them through it's entirely up to you uh, we can do that for you uh, so if you want to use the thread you've already got that's fine if you've got a different red that you want to do use that if you want to buy that red to go with this then it's it's all good it's all good it's down to you now um prep your fabric oh, yeah. but malcolm knows when the show's on mm-hmm because normally Malcolm's all over me, mm -hmm. but as soon as as soon as the show's on, he's like, "No, there are people watching. I, I can't, I can't love you anymore." <laughs> he's so sweet. He is your cat, though. He is my cat. He fell asleep on my head the other night and then fell off. Oh, nice! And just rolled off the pillow and just lay like that for the rest of the night at the bottom of the. He pillow. just won't go near anyone else, though. Nope. No, he is my cat. Oh, and to be fair. Uh, he did let Emily touch him the other day. She was so thrilled. She was really thrilled. What am I doing? I am. Um, I hear everybody ask. <laughs> no one. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? I am folding my fat quarter, my black fat quarter, into quarters. Giving it a good old press. Yes, I am. Never ceases to amaze me that for people who don't do a lot of ironing, Jane's in the same camp as well, isn't she? That we have a hobby that involves using an iron quite a lot. Quite a lot. 
Mm, I'm not a fan of the ironing. I'm not a fan of the ironing. Apparently there are people that like it. I know, my mum. Does she? Yeah. Does she? Yeah. I mean, not so much now because of, you know, arthritis-y type things, but back in the day, oh yes. She I ironed everything. Right. Socks, underpants, dusters, everything. I don't understand that. I no. do not understand that. No. When, when someone says, oh yeah, my mum irons my socks, I'm like, what's the point? What's the point of having something of this. flat yeah. to then put something 3D? I don't understand. I do not understand socks and pants being ironed. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it. I mean, I'm not going to judge you if you do. Maybe a little bit. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, no, it's, just all, it's just all that people have the time to do that. I, 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 she what? was fast at ironing, to be fair, was but she? even so, even so. Even so. Even so. Why have we done this, by the way? Why have we done this? Let me, let me show you. Do you know how many hours of her life have been spent ironing? I know. That's the really scary thing, isn't it? So we put this on here like this. You're going to put your copy paper, your tailor's paper, or whatever you want to call it, underneath. And then you can mark around all around here. Now, what you'll notice is... And this is why, because you, you then match up your quarter marks there so that you've always got it there. Um, and when you come to stitch everything off, these are simply placement marks here. Okay, so you just have to put those there. It, and again, it's a placement mark. It's nothing else. Let's have a look at these instructions this month. Here we go. This is said ginger block. Uh, this is it all in the wrong order. Here we go. Talking of order, this is what is really, please read all of this. Sit down with a cup of tea and read all of it. Order of applique guide. Make your ginger spikes. We're going to do that. And apply to block. You probably won't do all that. Um, apply leaves marked A. 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 Uh, note, you may wish to add all the leaves individually or some you can use and piece and divide with embroidery. There we go. Uh, make ginger flower petals and apply to block. So once you've got A's down, then you can pop those in. Fabulous. Apply ginger flower bases to block. There and there. Okay. Add remaining leaves. So that'll be your B, C, D and E's. Um, in alphabetical order, Brilliant. embellish leaves and add vines. Embellish ginger flower petals and turn down edges of petals if desired. We will show you all of that. It's all going to happen very, very soon. Okay. Techniques. Don't forget to leave a seam allowance or overlap when one piece is going to sit under another. Plan this out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So take the time to <coughs> plan this out. We're going to start with the ginger spikes. That's where we are going to start. Maybe that's why Malcolm's run off, because his tail would look awesome. Yeah, yeah, it would. Um, I'm, I'm surprised by you, Natasha, that you've not come out with your usual proper preparation malarkey at this point. Prime proper preparation prevents poor performance. That's the one. It's actually got a swear word <laughs> in there. Has, but, um, yes. but we won't say that because, you know, we YouTube is proper doesn't professional like it. that. Facebook does oh, well, prof oh, that's it, professional. <laughs> Prime proper preparation prevents... Poor professional performance. Poor professional performance. <laughs> Never let it be said. I'll add that in. I'll add that in. Uh, please oh. prepare your fabrics prior to, uh, you know, all of that. So Lowe's um, arrived. Huh? Lowe's arrived. Oh, morning, Lowe. Yeah, How she, are you? Where has she been this weekend? Well, Do we she know? asked what she'd missed. Ginger. Uh, Myra gave her a nice rundown of Lisa pincushion kit, avocado and prawns, and torturing mm -hmm. Gemma next week. So not much really, lol. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, you've just got to get ready to torture Gemma next week. We haven't started. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Myra, that's it really in a nutshell, isn't it? That's all right. That works, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then there's been an ironing related conversation. Oh. Uh, Lizzie Crangle can do a man's shirt in three and a half minutes. Crikey. I mean, is that iron one or take it off? Well, I mean, <laughs> don't take one off. Wouldn't take that long. Rip. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh, dear. Who needs buttons, right? Yeah. Uh, right, here we go. We are going 
We digress. Yes, How's... Jay's just reminded me that I've not put a link to today's collection and it's almost like I've been too busy gabbing with you. Gabbing I put with it in me. now, everybody. You see how I get the blame? Yeah. Already. Now, 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 now. We are going to cut this on the bias. What is the bias? The bias is your 45 degree line, okay? The warp goes up and the weft goes left. So in order to cut on the bias, because we want this to have that movability, that flexibility of these fibers, we're gonna cut it on the bias. Um, if you want a true bias, then you're gonna use your 45 degree line on your ruler. It needs to be approximately 16 and a half inches. So if you are um, frugling your Lisa fabric, actual, actual term, frugling, frugling yeah, then you're just gonna take a little slice off there. Otherwise, you'll be like me and just cut right through the middle, <laughs> go right, that's about 45 <laughs> degrees, I'll do. And, uh, and then realize that actually there's a lot of fabric that you have potentially wasted there. We don't call you trash for nothing. <laughs> There are lots of reasons you call me trash, Gemma. We can't broadcast most of them, and that's just now, now. fine. That's just not true. What do you mean it's just not true? You know when you lie and your voice goes down? <laughs> I do know this, Gemma, because I have known you for over 20 <coughs> years. And <laughs> she's blushing. Do you know I've done a good job there? Because generally, Gemma doesn't blush. Um, I tell you what, though, you could make one of those nice little um, pincushiony things, couldn't you, out of what you've got left over? Yeah. Just saying. Totally. Just saying. Dolly says, hi, you Dolly say, oh, Good Dolly. morning, all. It's Dolly on form today. I need to know. Soz, I'm late. Soz, you're late, but Dolly. But busy making Halloween bunting. Must mention, I iron socks and pants and tea towels and everything else. So I like them to look new. Sado. <laughs> Do you know what, Dolly? Uh, whatever not, makes you happy, Dolly. I have complete respect for you. It's only I, I don't do it. So I just feel slovenly and shamed well i mean i wasn't going to feel shamed but now i do Thanks. <laughs> ah, who's going to rifle through my pants drawer anyway no one dear no, no one. one no one no one uh cut to two and a half by 16 and a half inch strips let's do that shall we gosh oh, rifling through pant drawers what's going on with the world well, i've now just made that really short haven't I? i'm going to take it off this one instead here we go we're getting there, people. We're getting there. <coughs> I'll shut up. <laughs> Henceforth, forthwith. No, it's up all right. Up. I'm just, I'm just, I'm impressed by Dolly's um, organisational skills. Well done, Dolly. Linda's asking if there'll be opportunity in the future to buy the forceps on their own. Just made a the sewing bag with tulip okay. pink and need rainbow tools to go in it. So forceps on their own, you can buy. We've only got a limited number of um, of the smaller set the non-curved ones, and so they have all gone into the block of the month. But if you want to get the t'other ones, uh, then they are available by themselves. They're not quite exclusive to Natasha Makes, because, um, you know, Lisa's got some too. Mm. Yeah. Uh, right, so now, I'm to move this out of the way, it's annoying me. There we go. You did ask what Lowe had been up to at the weekend. Oh gosh, is it broadcastable? I am, we'll find out, shall we? We'll find I out am excellent. very proud. Very Done proud. two litres of Bacardi, two bottles of toffee vodka in my espresso martinis, hijacked the securities golf buggy, been at a moho show. Apparently four o'clock in the morning is too late <laughs> to all be singing along to Simply Red. <laughs> I mean, living the dream there, though. To singing along to Simply Red. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What did I do? I came into the office when I shouldn't have done. Yes, you did. I Thank spent... You. Many, many hours looking after my friend's, bless him, very old and incontinent dog. Nice. And went dream. to bed at seven something on Saturday and 8.30 last night. Yeah. I mean, it's practically the same, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Practically the same. <laughs> You're just missing out a few litres of Bacardi there, love. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, we are all living the dream. Great. It's all good. It's all good. I can't believe she hijacked a buggy. I can. <laughs> I absolutely can. You'll get to know, Lo. You'll oh. get to know, Lo. And you'll know that that is oh. standard. Excellent. Um, right, so <laughs> we've. <laughs> just a while. We're discombobulated now. It is both of them being a. Yes, there we go. So then, 
you are going to fold these into the middle. It's basically like making binding. That's all we're doing, effectively, to start off with at the beginning. So if you want to get it, in fact, if we weren't moving warehouse, I'd actually know where my binding making from Haley is. Because mm. that was a good thing, wasn't it? Do, 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 do. So it you, um, the reason that we do this is so that you don't have any raw edges on the outside. So this is the first block where we start to up the ante a little bit with different techniques that we're starting to <coughs> bring into effect. And away we go. Apparently we're bonkers together and a joy to behold. Bonkers together and a joy to behold. Uh, do you know, I don't so. think that's ever what got written on our school reports. Nope. No, definitely not. Absolutely not. Definitely, not. <laughs> definitely, definitely not. I just got <laughs> absolutely slated for being hopeless. Did you? Hopeless at um, Home Ec. Oh, yeah. All things Home didn't Ec. You, didn't you see the Home Ec teacher then at the WI? Yeah. Yeah, that went well. Yeah. Um, so we are going to then make sure that that is 16 and a half there. Then we're going to do some marking on here. And I just got berated for not turning on. Well, of course. That was apparently a thing you were meant to do. Right. They so do like it when you actually do <laughs> you turn actually up. I mean, up. I used to turn up, register, and then pop out. I'd pop to Sainsbury's. Not Sainsbury's. What was it called? Morrison's. Well, it wasn't a Morrison's then, though, what was, was it? it? Safeways. Safeway or something. Yeah. So pop there for toast. 40 pence. Best buttery toast you've ever eaten in your life. Oh, yeah, they used to pop back and register back in, pop back down. No, you see, town. because I did A level art, I did three years of A levels because I couldn't make my own mind up. So I did art, English, and theatre studies for the first year, and then swapped and did maths, physics, and biology. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's why we ended Beautiful up in the same choice. year. Yeah, 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 great choice. Because <laughs> Gemma likes to tell everyone about um, how much younger she is than me. It's fine, I'm comfortable with that. We're marking off, by the way, just so I'll chat as we mark. <coughs> 18 months. Every one and a quarter along here and I'm doing it a pen so that you can see um, yeah so but in in the year of, of the art <laughs> we used to take ourselves off on um, on little little excursions we managed to somehow wangle it that we needed to go to Slimbridge <laughs> to, to look at the ducks because <laughs> I passed my driving test very very early on in the sixth form Aww. so yeah we all uh, there was three of us me Catherine Laura that did a level art together we just used to um we just used to go off on little little day trips um so yeah Slimbridge was a nice day trip beautiful we then had to do oh gosh yeah we got we got Laura's dad in quite a lot of trouble. We, we had to do a project on pain and suffering. Oh. Yeah. Which was fine. <coughs> but when, <laughs> when you tie people up and hang them off things in the attic of a very old building uh. and then get the photos developed in boots oh. and then send their father because he was going to pay for them, oh. he then ends up on the list of people whose photos you oh, need Oh, no. Watch. He was not happy with us. Oh, heck. At all. Um, and then <laughs> oh, gosh. <gasps> we didn't even think. We uh. didn't even think. I'm now going to mark off midway. <laughs> The horrible, horrible things we do as teenagers. We didn't. We we didn't know. No, it wasn't intentional. It wasn't intentional. It wasn't like let's get Laura's still. dad in lots and lots of trouble. We just thought results. Someone else is going to pay for all of our photo um, developing. That was oh, that no. was where we were at. In the days where you did actually have to go and develop photos Absolutely. and show your face. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the last lot he paid for us obviously had all the ducks from Slimbridge. <laughs> 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 I bet they thought he was a really mixed bag of interests. <laughs> Mixed bag of interest, oh, that's the nice no. way of putting it, right? So, when we have marked off, and we'll do a little closer to close up for you, uh, when you have <laughs> marked off, I don't know if this is a good idea having a both mic. There's many years <laughs> of wrongness, isn't there, that can come to the, <laughs> come to the, come to the fore. Um, <laughs> so, we've got an inch and a half down there, and then midway from there. Okay. Oh, at the, do you know, everyone's had a more exciting weekend than me. 
Ali Fraser says, I was at a gin show on Saturday and sampled so many gins that my hubby said that my friend and I were like Laurel and Hardy trying to get into the car with our purchases. Amazing. I think she had what we refer to as a wobbly wheel on. A wobbly <laughs> wheel on. Everyone loves a wobbly wheel, right? Oh, dear. <laughs> um, yes. Potentially. We have official feedback on the ironing of a tea towel and towel. Now, I am in this what? camp. Yeah. Joe says, all those years ago, I did a Draper's Chamber of Trade course in textiles and was taught you shouldn't iron tea towels and towels because it flattens the pile and reduces the drying capacity. It has stood me in good stead all these years. You don't want... Yes, see? Oh, yeah. I, I knew say you don't want flat I've never piles, but mm, I don't no, know. You don't. No. Just, I'm just trying to... Thread my needle, it all went Oh, and of long. course, Lo has a bus related naughty story also. Here, yeah, look. <clears throat> my uncle owned the coach company that took us to school. I used to stay on it and go to Torquay. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I mean, what would have happened if round by us people had stayed on the bus? They'd have ended up somewhere like. They'd ended up back in Henley at the Henley. depot. Yeah, I don't know why I'm be actually exciting, struggling to, to. I did this beautifully. Uh, bear with me whilst I just, you know, twiddle. Thread a needle. So I'm using a polyester thread, if I can actually, I think it must be a bit thicker. What are you doing now with your ruler, said Geraldine a minute ago. What was I was measuring uh, one and a quarter inches. Apparently, I cannot actually mm. thread stuff this morning. Where is my needle thread? <laughs> that would help. Oh, it's this whole moving malarkey, isn't it? Well, do you know what? We buy all these things on the show to make life easier for everyone. Yeah. And then what do I do with it? It's not hiding behind your iPad or anything daft, is it? Do you know what? It might be in... No. I have a special um, Lisa pencil case mm -hmm. with all my goodies that I need for the show. But for this particular... I know that you're not really meant to... Um, it swells the fibres, isn't it? But let's just see. So basically, when you have managed to thread your needle, which apparently I am incapable of doing this morning, just keep shredding it. That's rubbish. Hang on. I did this perfectly earlier. Was this what, prior what, what, and proper what? preparation? Prior and proper preparation, had yeah. had threaded beforehand. Yeah, 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 all of that. All of that. Let's use this one instead. See if this one works. Many a needle kicking about the place. <laughs> Look at that, straight in. Um, so, we what we're going to do, I'm going to double up the thread actually because we're going to be ruching. And that is why I'm using a polyester thread because if you use your cotton it's just not quite so there we go we get there in the end Bing. oh pam says deep joy a power cut and you've just vanished off my tv what all i can hear around me are many house alarms well many house i'm alarms. hoping you can still hear and see and everything thanks to the wonders of 4g and a phone well wouldn't that be nice? I hope so. Yeah. I mean, she's commented, so I would hope that that's the case. That's, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth Crangle says, bigger needle. Bigger needle. I know, <laughs> right, Elizabeth? Bigger, bigger, needle. bigger needle. And look, you'll actually be able to see it now, won't you? Um, so we are going to stitch across. And if you want to make them even, then do. I mean, you know, it's up to you. Um, in fact, we have done this technique once before. Do you remember when, Gemma? Do you, do you, do you? I want to say yes. Well, you're not paying attention. Don't know. No, the answer is not in here. She's looking around. Oh. You know, like people do when they're trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, me scanning the room. When did we last do this? Oh, it was oh, on a oh, Lisa oh bottle, project. bottle brush bag. Was it that We've one? We've never demoed oh, the bottle brush bag. That, but it is was on, on the bottle there. brush bag. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you've bought what the brush, have, have we got any more of those kits left? Would they there as well? That will have to be investigated. Won't so it? we're going diagonally from one mark to the next. That's all we're doing. It's your Hampton bag. You know, we had those beautiful ruched oh, rosettes yes, on the Hampton yes, striped yes, bag. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is that technique. I will investigate Only the bottle brush bag situation later as well because that was rather beautiful. I don't think we, we never we never even showed it. We just had we just had the kits, didn't Everyone we? Everyone went. I want one of those. Thanks. And that was it. And off they trotted. Well, because obviously because we are the home of Lisa Chandler in the UK, we get this stuff. She makes it for us, 
and ships it to us and nobody else has it. Nobody, I tell you, nobody. Doing really well with this thread, aren't I? There we go. Um, you might want to ruche as you go is um, the next piece of advice I'm going to give you. Ruche away. Oh, but look. Gorgeous. I know, I know, I know. So and can simple, you see yet so fabulous. Already we're starting to get that beautiful, beautiful ruching. Don't over ruche <laughs> because, or if you do, just bear in mind that one is going to be longer than the other. Your raw end there, that's fine, that's going to go under your leaf. Do you remember that we were given the instruction mm -hmm. about being careful about how we Certainly place our well. raw ends? And so then when you've ruched all of that, be mindful you of your desired length. Move, be mindful of your desired ruching length. So when you've ruched all over there, you can just fold that under so that you don't have any raw edges there for your end ruche. But you can measure it off on here as you go. But that is literally all you need to do for your ruching is to go from just diagonally across from bit to bit. Yeah, you don't want to over ruche and then be disappointed at the end that it well, comes up shorter than you, you wanted. You could, if you've got enough play with your thread, you could unravel your ruching, but life's a bit too short to yeah. be unraveling ruching everywhere. So that's how you do your ruching. Step number one. Oh yeah. Um, now, the next bit that we are gonna do are the ginger leaves. Okay, okay. Now, once again, I have given you way too much. <laughs> way, way, way too much. But here's the thing. I think, and in fact, Gemma, if we, we've got all the black loaded by the half metre, haven't we? Mm. Because this is a block that would make such a stunning cushion. Oh, so would. Or bag front or anything like that it would be gorgeous and basically what you've got is enough to do two at least okay you just need to add your black in that's it that's all um otherwise you've got like i say you have got plenty 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 so from your yellow and your red now you see i just cut them together i fold i put them together and then i just cut you will want to get your template like so. Should go over, over, overhead. There we are. Like it is so. So I've got my red and my gold. Ta -da. Uh, that is going to sit, the base of my petal is going to sit flush to the raw edge there. And then spin it around. When I cut here, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to go quarter of an inch at least past there. There we go. Hurrah! And you see, look, I've already done three strips and look how much I've still got left. Loads! I've just popped the black in the collection Loads, so it can be easily Gemma. found. Loads! Um, there we go. That pesky needle. I don't like that needle anymore. That's not my favourite. <laughs> oh, Sonia says, good morning, ladies, and thank you for helping me good to get my morning. mojo back. It's been a difficult few months. Oh, Natasha, I love Sonia. the quilt behind you. If I have missed any of your sessions, I would love to have the pattern. Oh, well, they're yeah, they there. are. So they're all available. They are all available, and you can catch up any time. And what we're starting to do with our patterns, in fact, I don't, we haven't got this written on this because this is obviously Lisa's pattern, but we've it suddenly dawned on us that we should really write on our patterns mm -hmm. when we demo them so that when you get the pattern out, you can then just search YouTube or our website for that date and that show. They're always going to be there. And I, and I always say this when I'm on the craft store and people buy patterns from there that we always have. I mean, obviously, I can't overtly go, come to Natasha Meigs, because, you know, they don't like that. Um, but... The fact of the matter is, we keep all of ours, yeah. and the big channels, they don't like. They you know, they the they do so many hours. There's no way they can keep all of those online, um, but we do. 
we do we absolutely do so that at any point you can go back and watch the demo warts and all we don't edit it no. we don't take out the bits that go wrong they're no. still going to go wrong <laughs> we don't. we're keeping the good bits of the bits that go right yep and it's all good now because this is a batik you have a choice as to which side you wish to use it is completely your choice they're both beautiful Batiks by their nature, obviously the die goes through both ways, so we're all good. Um, and then, obviously you will use a normal marker that isn't going to show through. I'm going to use black because um, then you can see. Just make sure, this one for some reason was ever so slightly longer, so I'm just making sure that I do, when I draw, I do actually have some kind of a seam allowance. So. I'm going to use this. You can transfer this onto um, your template plastic, but obviously mine was at the, guess where? Not here. Oh, you see, soon we'll all be in the oh, same oh, place oh, and it'll be fine. And then you want to leave yourself half an inch and then you've got a little seam allowance there. Okay. So these are your petals for your ginger. There we are. Like so. You're going to want, I want to say 16 of these in total. It's quite a lot. And so you just make sure that you've drawn out your 16 and then you take it to your machine. Drop your stitch length back. Here's one I started to stitch earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I've only got one left to stitch. There we go. It really is blue pink, sir. I know, I know, I know. I don't know why I was organised this morning. I have absolutely, I spent <laughs> the whole weekend on a course. I had no reason to be organised at all because I spent the entire week from nine o'clock in the morning until some ungodly hour at night on a course. Because, you know, I likes to learn, I do. <laughs> I likes to learn. We loves to learn. Loves to learn. Yeah, now I'm not at school. Right? Now I'm not made to learn. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. oh, yes. Education is wasted <laughs> on the youth, isn't it? It really is. Really oh. is. It so is. Oh, said as only a mother with a teenager <laughs> can say. I know. I know. How's she finding it? So Gemma, uh, Gemma's daughter has just started sick form, having done very well with her exams. Is she all right? She loves her new school. She loves it. Thankfully. Phew. You want to put on a foot that you can see through. Okay. This is sort of clearish in the middle, so I'm all right with that. You want to have your needle centrally placed so that you know where you're at you want to bring your stitch length down i've got mine on two anything around two 2.2 is absolutely fine do you know how many years it was gem until i realized that that is actually a measurement of millimeters okay yeah. it doesn't say anywhere it just says two I'm like two what elephants monkeys what <laughs> millimeters Millimetres, you see in maths, you always told you've got to use a user, otherwise you don't know, do you? Yeah, it you could be in there. Um, And then we are just going to stitch all the way around. Lots of little comments coming through today. I suppose we ought to do that, really. What? You know, that whole reading of the comments. Reading thing of and the answering comments. Answering what people are asking and such. Questions. You know, questions. questions. What questions, Jen? Well, what questions? Lovely Helen Laws says, I saw on Lisa's Hi, website Helen. that she has a pattern for seven different bags. Will you be getting it in? We, we oh, count hang it on. Ours. Yeah, so I have been, I've just come unthreaded for some reason. Um, I've been bugging Lisa for this. So Lisa said, <laughs> Lisa said to me, Lisa, if you're still watching, if you finished your, uh, your enviable dinner, um, Lisa said to me, there was only six way to make bags. What? Only six ways to make a bag. She's like, there's only six ways to make a bag. Oh no, I've got a book on it. I think it's now seven, but still. Still. Still not that many, is no. it really? Not, no, not really fabulous. in the scheme of things when you think of bags. 
No, I don't know about we you, need Gemma, this, we but need I this. might have more than Max. <coughs> yeah. It's potential. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, I need to get hold of them, and I don't know why she's being shy about it. That might be her telling me now. Why are you not... What's going on today? Have I skipped a step? Because I'm so used to threading my other machine. I think I've forgotten how to... Add. Oh, I, don't, I can't thread anything today! Don't, Tash, because next week this will be me. That's all right. I'm not exactly <laughs> setting a high bar, I'll be I? there. Jay! Jay! <laughs> That's what I really hope. I haven't used this machine for other. ages. And I do love it, but I've completely forgotten how to do everything on it. Oh, um, it's all good fun. And every thread that I go near wants to just... There we are. Lovely Lizzie Crangle says, I seldom get affected by your food talk. However, I just got to the kettle and I thought to myself, I could actually do the pink gin. I don't drink gin. <laughs> I mean, I could do the pink gin right now, I'm not going to lie. I could do that. Did you see the gin that they bought me for my birthday? It's been hiding on the set. I haven't opened it. I still haven't opened it yet, Jim. Oh, that bottle, that bottle sold it to us. But Harvey Nicks say it's a rather fantastic gin. Do they? Mm. Do you want to have a look? Because it's got eyebrows and everything. I'd be Frida Kahlo. <laughs> would be Frida Kahlo. Mm. Who, I mean, I was going to say, who knew that eyebrows could be sexy, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe today's uh, eyebrow, whatever is a... Uh... Eyebrow obsession. Yeah, but what a beautiful... Do you want to see the bottle? It's rather gorgeous. Look at that. What is that? It's a gin. Gin art. Super, super spoiled. Oh, way up. It's a beauty. Who's ringing me? That's you. Oof. Who do I know in crew? <laughs> Some call Ooh. centre somewhere. Crew. Don't talk to anyone in crew. I assume, I assume Claire's asking you, but when did you learn to ride? And she loves to learn but hates the school environment. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I totally get that. Totally get that. I just like to run wild and free. Uh, <laughs> generally, <laughs> raising on a horse. Uh, no, I learned to ride when I was 11 years old. There was, for Christmas, there was a box under the Christmas tree that I had no idea what it was. And um, I'd been bugging my parents for years to let me learn to ride. And um, for my 11th Christmas present, Sure as there was a there was a hat and six riding lessons um, for Christmas, and um, I think my parents have regretted it ever since. <laughs> Are they not horsey people then? No. Do you know? I always assumed that you were from a horsey family. I just thought your no, parents no, 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 really horsey not a horsey people. family at all. My dad doesn't actually love horses. <laughs> How does that even work? How does that even work? But he married my mum, um, so he had to, you know, get used to having animals around the place. So no, so my, my yeah, my dad would have no animals if it was up to him at all. Uh -huh. Really not. Uh, I'm just going to cut these out, by the way. Let me just show you what I'm doing, and then we'll have more horse talk. Um, bing, 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 bing. I've got my eight ready to go. I'm just going to cut with my seam allowance around, and then we will have them ready to go, and we will get our forceps out forthwith. Uh, so yeah, so I um, yeah, I started riding when I was eleven. I had my very first lesson on a lovely um, strawberry roan called Twizen. She was very lovely. Uh, and then my second lesson, they whacked me on an 18-hand ex-police um, ex horse. He was huge. I think they walk for a week after they that one. They are big, aren't they? Uh, they are big. And, uh, and then went from there. So I absolutely loved it. Um, these little riding lessons that I had at Upper Dicker Riding School. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> uh, upper water. Upper dicker. Yep. <laughs> Stop Happy it, Gemma. Happy Actual enough. place. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, you are bad. <laughs> we are actually still children, aren't we? <laughs> I think this is what everyone is now starting to realise. Oh. Yeah, heaven <laughs> forbid anyone should break wind. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> that we're ladies, Gemma, that would never happen. No, never, never happens, happens, does it ever? <laughs> no. uh, how do we go from that anyway? <laughs> I took a riding school and uh, so I learned to ride there and um, and then 
when I was 13, I saved up all my money that I had earned uh, mucking out other people's horses. And um, I bought a little Shetland pony that was going to market and he would have ended up for meat mm. for 50 quid. And um, Rusty came in a cattle truck to live mm. with us. And um, he was, oh gosh, he was feisty. He, he used to come at you on his back legs. Um, well, he, he would well, bite, kick, he'd do anything. Mm. But, and it took me a while took me a while but I broke him to harness and everything and then he just oh. used to follow me around like a dog it was like having a dog so w if ever I went for a walk he just used to trot along I didn't even I was about to say I a bet rope you, or anything your dogs on. have been visit bigger than him no doubt yeah 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 so yeah. Rusty he was he was just fab and so he just used to come with me everywhere oh. and, um, <laughs> just trot along next to me he was he was just brilliant because we had that bond oh. forceps insert into your petals open them up a little bit stick that top bit in lock them off and then turn through magic um yeah and then after rusty when i was 19 and should have been studying very hard at university drinking my way through everything instead of spending my money on beer Mm -hmm. my student loan I bought a horse and his name was Oscar and I had Oscar for over 20 years I was gonna say I know about Oscar yeah yeah, yeah. I bought Oscar with my student loan and do you know whose yard I found him on who's Penny the cleaners Aww. and that is how I know Penny my mum and I went to the royal show and uh, so do you just want to ease out your edges my mum and i went to the royal show my mum wanted donkeys so we went to the miniature donkey um stand and there was this lady turned out penny and my mum was ooing and ahhing over the donkeys this is before she had girt and daisy our donkeys mm -hmm. and um so you repeat this by the way to all of these and um she uh, and I, I just happened to say i really want a clydesdale and she said, oh, I've just had one go off my yard, but I don't think that it's a suitable match. Hmm. So give me your number and, you know, if he comes back. Two weeks later, sure enough, Aww. I get the call. He's back. Do you want to come and see him? So I did, and I had him on loan for, yeah, for a couple of years and then bought him with my student loan. And um, as all responsible uh, degree students do. Is either that would drink it, isn't it? You know, I don't think there's like another option, is there? Books, well, accommodation. accommodation. Oh yeah, that's the. <laughs> oh, I didn't live in halls, so that was fine. There we go. So that yeah, so that was that was my lovely Oscar. He spent two years walking backwards. He was a bit of a, a bit of a naughty boy. Hence why nobody else wanted him. And um, but you know what? He was just the best. Freddie used to ride him bareback as a baby. Like Aww. yeah, I could put any of the kids on him. He was just just the best just the best and then when i started training for the olympics um the modern pentathlon you have to be able to ride any horse and um, be able to jump a four foot course that's one meter 20 on a horse that you've never ridden before you get mm -hmm. five five practice fences <coughs> 20 minutes and five practice mm -hmm. fences that's all you get so i had oscar who i had to Oscar and I had to learn to jump together because he was mm. he was the only horse I'd had and I, I was a happy mm. hacker. I couldn't jump, I always used to fall off. So I started off with Oscar and that was just like riding a tractor. <laughs> and then and then I yeah. And then I got I got shadow, shadow dance. And uh, she was a completely different kettle of fish. It was like going from a tractor to a Ferrari. Mm. And I used to I used to do clear rounds and stuff on her and come out gasping for breath because we'd gone around so fast <laughs> i hadn't breathed i actually would not have breathed going around she was she was crazy but it was great because i had two ends of the of the spectrum so anything that they gave me in between like when i used to sure. go to sandhurst to practice on the army horses mm -hmm. you could ride any of them yeah of course because they were just happy in between <laughs> mm-hmm and then I used to go, there was another guy that used to let me borrow his, he ran a show jumping yard, he used to let me borrow his horses, and they, these would be like 30 grand horses. Wow. And you, it just, it was a whole, I've never spent 30 grand on a thousand horse, I'd just like to say. No. 
or anything for that matter. Well, Three thousand pounds, actually. <laughs> I generally get the broken ones and fix them and put them right. You do. Um, and um, even if they can't be fixed, even if they can't be fixed, you just give them just a lovely stay. home. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's what we do, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody well, you do. It's your lovely. lovely home. Hmm. So um, we're just chatting while we're pulling these fe these feathers, petals through. Yeah, now this little shenanigan in your hand now is something that, again, whenever we get these in, they fly out. They do They're fly. tricky to get hold of. No, we do need to get some more. Not but even with the pink ones? Nope. No. Honestly, they fly out so fast. And then, of course, trying to get them, it can be tricky, can't it? Always. So, because uh, they Always are that popular. Always. Poplia. Poplia, as Inga Poplia. says. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But can you see, <laughs> she's making a right old hash of this one, um, how much easier having the forceps actually make it because it pulls yeah. that tip all the way through and well, then this not, is just a question that thing of, of poking it through it. with something like I do and then going straight through your stitches and the fabric don't do that I've done that so many really, times really really bad idea just there's some really that. bad words that come out when you do that there are bad words that come out now we've put bad the times. shorter ones in here because that's all you need but if you can imagine a tilde toy mm. she always puts the seam midway down mm -hmm. and if that foot has a, a curve then it's not going to be so easy to get your forceps no. in so that's why we've got the longer ones with the slight curve because you can get up in and round perfect for things like your tilde toy making mm. any of those things we're going to have joe carter in this week or next uh, month or next month hopefully um and again she does toy making so these sorts of things are just going to be fab and <coughs> in my experience buy them in advance because the day that you need it, you need it. Yeah. And then where is it? Quite. We're sitting in our warehouse, isn't it? It hasn't already sold out. So um, it's just one of those really, really handy things to have. All of the little ones have been allocated for the Rock of the Months because we promised those, but you can. I mean, there's nothing to stop you from using the curved ones on anything like this, absolutely nothing. So if you just need a pair of forceps, and it wasn't anything that I even knew that I needed until Lisa said I did. And then I was like, you're so right, I mm. do. Mm -hmm. I do need these. And it's just the fact that you lock them off. That's the, that's the thing. So you can then just pull it through. Isn't it funny how you don't know that you need these things you don't, until you, don't know you have what, them? You don't know what you don't know. And that's, that's the thing. You yeah. just don't know what you don't know. And then when you do know what you know, you know that you need them. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So then what we're going to do, we're going to press them. It looks like something, like a tiny, tiny float from Baywatch, they doesn't do. it? They do. Oh gosh, I'm ringing again. Look, everybody wants me this morning. I'm popular. Yeah. Um, again, I do like to give them a little spritz. And um, you've got, of course, if you bought last month, you've got your free little bottle of flatter. Mm -hmm. Have you tried any of the other scents? Because I think we gave you scentless. Scentless. Or senseless, as Ash said, as she was <laughs> piling <laughs> bottle upon bottle on the air. Uh, it's like, it's not senseless. It's scentless. She's like, this feels senseless to me. I'm like, that bad. Well, the quantity of orders that she was uh, yeah, putting together. Yeah, she was, she was, she was, there was quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. I do want to run out. This is difficult to get hold of this stuff. No, absolutely. And if I bought a lot, I've got a discount for you all as well. That's why you get it yeah, at such exactly. a good price. Such a good price. I won't be able to do that again, by the way. So Alison Fraser, she's she's got my number. She knows what I was up to with that gin bottle. She says the gin bottle would make a lovely gin bottle lamp when empty. Yes, yes, almost it would. Like that's what it's we almost that. like we've got another show planned there, Ali. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bought that bottle thinking exactly that, and then um, I did the, Do you did the background work just before I placed the order to make sure that it was actually a decent gin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll thanks. just buy it for the pretty bottle. For the Got pretty, nice gin. for the eyebrows. And, uh, uh, Lowe very helpfully says that chocolate gin is good for breakfast. <laughs> On your cocoa pops. We don't, uh, we don't condone the drinking of gin at breakfast time. Just, you know. Don't you? Oh, that's <laughs> Gemma. She speaks for herself. I have to drive here. You so do no. have to drive. Oh, yeah, no, no. you definitely can't. Ali Barton says, eyebrows meeting in the middle are the sign of a bad temper. That is what I was brought up to believe. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Apparently so. Monobrow is a sign of a, yeah. I a, think she was feisty. A hot-headed person. I mean, what an interesting woman, really. 
She, I mean, she was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Geraldine would uh, Did you know like that she had... Did fabrics as well? She had... Um, she, had a, she was involved in a dreadful bus crash. Mm. She spent most of her life in awful pain mm. due to due to that. But you know, she still had like many a lover. She did. Yeah. Didn't let it, didn't let it get in the way. Well, no. You know, it's fair enough, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, but something to cheer you up, isn't it? I think if we did have Frida Kahlo fabrics, that would be the perfect choice for your lamp, would it? Oh, not? for my lampshade. Well, mm. we'll have to look into this. I think so too. Yeah. She didn't believe in waxing that monobrow, did she? No. No. Hair oh, and proud. We've got some comments today from a lady called Sylve Sparkly. Oh, we've got really Good names today. Yeah. Good names today. We do like a good name. Um, right, I realise I've just put all of those out of shot for you. There we go. There they are back in shot. Um, now, the other thing to then note is that you've got to cut some of these. All right. So... Oh, Rebecca Johnson says she bought a car with her student loan, which was stolen mm. 10 days later. <gasps> See, oh. she bought a horse, no one's still that. Um, I'm going to make this two inches, this one, and this one. Can, Can just we just about see this? that behind your logo, just about. The, uh, the Baywatch block. Yeah, the Baywatch block, there we go. <laughs> it's done. And then two and a half, which Does I do this <laughs> Huh? It's done, said she without tapping because I'm not really doing it. Not really going to call it the Baywatch block. <laughs> no. Oh. It's not yours to rename. Pamela? Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Told. There you go, Lisa. It's all right. Old brand awareness is here in the studio. <laughs> brand ambassador. I've already Gemma. been told off by Lisa once. I need to. Uh... She put Gemma with Madison. Oh, Campbell's yeah, no, you have leaning on the cushion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to uh, toe the line for the rest of the show. Well done. Well done. Right, right. So we have got two short, two, two medium, four long. Yeah? Then you are going to take your front picture. Our Rona Milne says the forceps are great for stuffing small toys as well. Yes, perfect. So true. And you are going to look at your picture to see what overlaps what. And then you can start to use these as your placement lines. All right, just this is just a guide. So, so, so. I can see that that is going to slot into there and if you need to you know trim stuff then do eyebrows whatever and so we start to build up can we start to see that oh, and dear. it's just it's just wonderful and then you know later on if you want to turn those petals through and you're just going to pop a little tacking stitch in there just to hold um, but just build that and I'm just looking what slots into what so you've got your two short ones then your long ones and then your two and a half inch ones on the bottom okay there and there and then you're going to use your other template that you've, you're given in there to create your base and all you do is cut a seam allowance larger get some of your um you can use your uh sandpaper oh. it's that sort of technique pop it in there running stitch pull it press it and then you've got that to then be your base there and then you layer your leaves and everything around um, so that is it that is how it is done so um, effective, isn't it's it? really effective and you're just going to have a little play pulling these back and seeing you know how much you want exposed or not it's entirely up to you uh, but just tack and then you just tack them on 
it really is it really is as simple as that but that is your technique and then you're going to go with your um i think it's the chain stitch that you then put all your raw edges cover all your edges with there or you can turn them over and just stitch around the edge it's up to you but all of the instructions are there um and that is how you do it please 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 make sure that which page is it ah here it is that you do follow your order of applique guide there get everything made up follow the order you will not go wrong okay and then you've got your embellishment guide under here two strands for chain stitch on the vines two strands for stem stitch and then two strands for your french knots should you wish to embellish on those and that is that beautiful there we go now tomorrow 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 we are doing our swinging 60s bag up there oh yes we are we've got some beautiful fabrics tomorrow haven't we mm -hmm. sure have. we're really limited on some i got the last of them but so we're going to do um handled bags in terms of a wooden handle bag round mm -hmm. or your oval so we're going to have a play with those with beautiful fabrics and lots of other goodies and also if you love a zip now we're not actually doing anything with a zip tomorrow but we have had some gorgeous gorgeous zips coming out again because of the whole world situation trying to get stuff in from america we've had no luck have we? we just None. we struggle with american suppliers at the moment you know it can take four months to get stuff because it gets set anyway not your problem our problem not yours so we have finally managed to source zips that i would say are the same quality as sally tomato mm. they're not sally tomato but i wanted to match that quality and we've sourced some um in colors that she doesn't even do they are beautiful, they are continuous, and they are on tomorrow's show. So you are going to want to see those. They've taken a long time to source. I am, I am going to predict that they will not hang about. No. No. So don't you hang about either. We will be back at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Gemma, is there anything else on the messages that I need to know this morning? I think Queen we've o covered messages. as we have gone along. Excellent. Um, except lots of people saying we've really made them chuckle today. Oh, we've made them chuckle. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, we've had a nice Good job. morning. Good job. Cheers I'm glad again. you've had a nice morning. Yeah. We've enjoyed being here. Uh, so, 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 we will see you tomorrow. I might put Gemma in the corner again then. <laughs> She's got to get it. I might even get her pressing we? some buttons tomorrow yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that she gets used to all of that shenanigans yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we will see you tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye-bye.